are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's one-hour local music showcase, the show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson, and I want to say a huge hello to all the viewers watching us on Shaw TV as well as Access Communication. That's right. As of today, Stripped Down is officially broadcast Saskatchewan-wide. Tonight's episode is six months and two weeks in the making. Oh, that's right. On December 20th, 2007, I was given the official green light to create a music show, and that day I talked to the gentleman here tonight and asked if his trio would be the very first band on what would eventually become Stripped Down. Didn't happen, but although never appearing on the show, every artist we've had on in the first 14 episodes has had one reason or another to talk about him. Let's take a look. Um, on the uh, production side, uh, it was mostly myself, and then uh, Josh was in there as an engineer, uh, Josh Palmer. Josh Palmer actually helped me out. I used to work with dad, uh, Josh's dad, Tom. There again, the elusive Josh Palmer, who we talk about every single episode of Stripped Down, but has never actually been on Stripped Down. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> when Josh Palmer did his, I think it was his very first CD with his sister, I was his graphic artist. Every single episode we talk about Josh Palmer. Well, he has a he, great studio, it's really he great. He has never been on the show. He was supposed to be the very first person. Oh, Josh Palmer gosh. and the Rebellion, episode one was supposed to be him. Actually, we played a gig together in uh, Moose Jaw about uh, two years ago. We did a gig together, actually. Josh, I'm, I'm one degree from Josh. There He's it is. We're very good friends, he actually, uh, gets an engineering credit uh, on, on the album. Oh, of we, course we recorded a few songs at his studio, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Push back, push back, push back. Here we are, episode 12 or 13, I think it's 12. He'll, Josh he'll come through. However, come every through. episode, there's ties to Josh Palmer. And I've Good. actually made it into a game. We're going to play it a little later. It's, it's like called the, the Kevin, three, Kevin there it is. Bacon game. There it is, the three degrees of Josh Palmer. <laughs> oh my god. Next, we are going to play a very fun game, a brand new game here on Strip Down. Second week, we are going to play, wait for it, Three Degrees of Josh Palmer. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Strip Down, Josh Palmer and the Rebellion. Doctor, you
Yes! Welcome to our acoustic music show. I'll get you down the seat there. I don't even know where I'm going to sit. Lots different this week. Once again, people are tuning in for the first time. Brand new show. Brand new set. The Rebellion. Finally on the show, you guys. Finally, hey? What was the deal? Josh, Christian, Sylvie, well, episode 15. 15 episodes late. What's going the on? The Rebellion. That's the way we work, apparently. We yeah. just... It just, it, the planets didn't align they at didn't. that per perfect they moment just, in time, yeah. and now here we are. Yeah. Something you know, about you being sick, though, too, last time. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was unfortunate. Yeah. Want to clear up some rumors about your sickness? Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> great. Oh, the best rumor. This is great. That I, that I pulled it. Like Keith Ledger, which is really sad, and it's very politically incorrect, and I was sort of upset at that, and took too many antidepressants or something strange like that. And that's how I ended up in the hospital. No. 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 Was some other weird ones, like I got into a car accident driving a Ferrari or something. I, I, Your I Ferrari even, safe? I, I drive a, <laughs> yeah, I know. I drive a tour van. I'm the one that yeah. totaled it off, though. Oh, yeah, you yeah. did. Well, that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, it just ended up that I just had the flu, <laughs> and it was nasty. Like, yeah. had to go and just had to do it. Clearly, we were not ready for you. This is intense. Clearly. This is the most ambitious strip down ever done. Again, this was uh, originally an acoustic music show. Really? We, we kind of went away from that tonight. Yeah. Well, well you know, all day. Dressed, you guys dressed it up. Dressed it up a lot more. Yeah, there you know? is a lot of a lot of hauling, especially. A lot of hauling. Yeah. Especially this wonderful magic piano here. It's heavy. Normally, if a band <laughs> came in and said, "Yeah, we don't want to do acoustic. We're gonna rock out," I'd probably turn them away. But something special about the Rebellion. Ah. I knew what you guys were doing? What did you bring in? Like, we do. We don't even have an audio guy tonight. We have that. Yep. <laughs> Colton this has is... been replaced. In by the like year two thousand. In yeah. the year two thousand. <laughs> Robots will take yeah. over everything and do the sound your, for you us. I take your sound pretty seriously. We, we do. do. Yeah. I, it's uh, it's just um, we have uh, you know particular uh, vision and particular sound that we do go for, and we know we know how to get it and make it easy on everybody else to to achieve it. So, and uh, that's why all this gear we ripped yeah. out of our studio to bring down because it's fun. Mm -hmm. We like setting it up and playing. So. Yeah. And, As uh, I mentioned in the intro, the origins of Strip Down. You were there that day. We went caroling. I oh, yeah. you guys caroling. Oh, it was a wonderful day. That was the, I can't remember, it was December 23rd or something 20th, like that. Yeah. And that was an incredible day. And I thought it was going to be terrible. Like, nobody would be into it. It was awful. But it turned out to be, like, it got me into the Christmas spirit. And everybody there really, really enjoyed it. And That's I remember incredible. sitting in your car after, and I said, you know what, I want the Rebellion for episode one. I and remember that conversation. Because now, we're almost at the end of our little half season we started in April, and you guys just, just made it under. We have one, <laughs> yeah. show, we have one show left before we take a summer yeah. break and come back next year, but Be you just slid in. Thank you for that. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 This is a new oh, experience yeah. for all of us, so we're, we're pretty pumped for all this. Yeah. yeah. I've talked to Josh a few times. I've never actually had a real opportunity to talk to you guys, mm -hmm. except for that one night you came in yeah. during taping one. <laughs> when you're, yeah, the show looks great. We talked for a few minutes. Yeah. And you dropped the bomb. Yeah, Josh isn't going to be here tonight. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Would have been my opener, but that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we had to ease you into it. Yeah. yeah, I, what, yeah. I, well, I cried anyways. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, I can only imagine the gong show it would have been if we tried to have you guys on the very first episode. The very first episode was Chris Brinklow, just one guitar and one mic. We barely pulled it off. So <laughs> this is a little wow. more complex than we would have been able to do on episode one. You, sir. Yes. Very first performance you guys had as a trio. I was there taping it. That is a moment. Another December. Man. You and I in December's. Yeah, that I don't know. That was December 06. That was. And then December 07, exactly yeah. a year later, we're doing the thing at Lydia's, right? That, that's, so. that's crazy stuff. Yeah. So, since December 06, talk about the rebellion. Where do we go? Where do we begin, guys? Oh. We've been, I don't know, kind of we, we had a little... A small town tour at the beginning. It was kind of a bunch of towns we never heard of before. Like lots of fun. It was great. Yeah. It was where the where the F are we now tour. Yeah. Uh, which was like three months of like going to rural Saskatchewan and just experiencing all these towns that we'd never been to. Uh, Bethune. Earl Grey. <laughs> Earl Grey. I thought there's it was Earl a tea. Grey. Earl Grey, yeah. Saskatchewan. Apparently, it's not it's just a there's two tea, streets. So. Wow, Ooh, that's two streets. Pretty good. <laughs> what was your What was your highlights of you? Of uh, of that little tour. Well, the hospital for sure. Oh, stayed in an abandoned hospital. What, what was the deal with that? I read about that in Final S. 
They, you thought they said hostile or something? Yes. Yeah, we, we read on our, on our, we get contracts for gigs just to make sure everybody knows what's happening. And uh, on the contract, we, we swear it read hostile. And so we were a little surprised when we showed up to, where was it? Um, it was just outside of Kindersley. It uh, was. Yeah. I wasn't there. And yeah, you were conveniently. <laughs> conveniently. conveniently. What's the deal with that? Just. He, so was, he was working hospital. at the time. Yeah, yeah, well. Just had those vibes. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I think I, think I was just working a lot. Movies. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it was also part of that where the FR we tour. And, yeah, it was, it was a pretty crazy time in those small towns. I didn't, I didn't know how many more of them I could, you know, I had in there. So I guess it was kind of a work break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy night. So, so that was yeah, just we two pulled up. We pulled up to the, to the town, and they gave us the keys and told us we were staying in a hospital. I yeah. was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> hospital? Yep, yeah, you're staying in the old abandoned hos hos hospital, they said. And we're like, you've got to be kidding me. This is awesome. And, yeah, I don't think we actually slept in there. I th what did no, we, we did sleep in did there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I convinced you to. He yeah, wanted you to get a hotel room at the other town, but I just, I manned him up. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> roughed me up. But, I mean, other no, than that, we're, we went to Toronto for Canadian Music yep. Week, uh, Western Music Awards. That was lots of fun, too. Um, I don't know. It's hard to think. You'd kind of built a persona before. Yes. You started this band, and that was like a defining moment for you. That was why you built this band. You wanted to get away from the old Josh Palmer that people knew. Absolutely. Successful? Just, absolutely successful. With the, just, the whole, just the whole platform of the rebellion, me and Sylvie, um came about. It was just we needed to separate and be taken seriously in the music industry. As, as an artist, uh, it came to realize that I needed to adopt a band and a band mm -hmm. name, which in my heart was exactly what I've been trying to do since I was 10 years old. Well, why weren't people taking Josh Palmer seriously before? You don't mind well, me asking. Because, uh, I don't know, they had, I was on Canadian Idol, mm -hmm. and it was a great experience, and very cool people were, were on that, helping make it happen, but just the stipulations that come with the Idol, and you know, people say it's a karaoke contest, well, you know, those are their own That their was own a worry of yours of not to be known as a yeah, cover song Yeah, because I was a musician before, yeah. before Idol. Kim Fontaine mm -hmm. did my first CD, you know, for, yeah. uh, for artwork, and, you know, that was in 2001. Uh, I'd been on stage since I was five years old, so it was difficult for me to be connected with that. Okay. Did you know these gentlemen before that experience? Ironically, no. Okay. Which so you get a call from a Canadian Idol guy. Well, were you, uh, what were your thoughts? It, it was, it, we, we'd met, it was probably like two years, almost yeah. two years later. Okay. And to be honest, I, I never really watched Canadian Idol yeah. just once in a while. You know, I, of course, I knew of this, uh, <laughs> when I was living in Saskatoon, this Josh Palmer guy, he's you know, the big celebrity in town. And then we, <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, hilarious. This other band I was in, uh, we came through. PM uh, studios and we we recorded well half a CD and then you just I think it was then just asked me well if we we need a filler sometimes if you want to come in yeah well, I mean I was I was pretty stoked on it so of course I hopped on that train yeah yeah and it was uh, we knew right away as soon as we got him for a filler it was just like okay this is the guy like That's the one, this eh? is the guy this yeah the guy. we weren't really doing touring around that I'm, then and yeah. all of a sudden it was I'm just the like dude, supposedly. we have we have a band yeah. that we've been touring with now. It was just yeah. incredible. Um, the chemistry that happened was amazing. You chose rebellion because it's, quote, positive, yeah. organized opposition to authority. Mm -hmm. it's, always, it all. it's always positive. It's never in a negative, ne negative way. And, um, and the, in, emotionally, I wanted to get away from that stereotype. Okay. And then it sort of occurred to us that there was something else going on. Uh, why we chose the rebellion, we were, it just, just happened. But when we really sat back and looked at who we were as individuals. Sylvia and Christian weren't even born in, in Canada, and they had incredible stories. Like, Sylvia, your parents, tell the, tell the story, it's an amazing. Well, uh, they were brought up in Romania, and uh, so was I. And uh, when I was one year old, my dad took off, and uh, he escaped the country, which was under communist dictatorship back then, and uh, came to Canada and started a life for us here. So. Under threat of death, yeah. like you, if he was caught, the, he would have been assassinated, and, yeah. uh, and, and just because of the laws. And, and Christian, you, your story isn't equally as um, you know, with, with the Congo being war torn. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, 
I, li I lived in the Congo till I was 10, pretty much. My, my parents sent me here f just to go to school, pretty much, and I don't know, started playing music instead, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> so it's the same. Yeah, three right. brothers from far corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. Pretty. That seriously says it all. That's it awesome. really does, cool. and it was just, it was like it was fate that brought us together, mm -hmm. and fate that we chose that name because it was it was the absolute emotional attitude of what what we were what we were just how we became. This is my mind still blown by all the stuff you brought in tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we we yeah. let one other totally band good. do a non-acoustic set, and that was Ultimate Power Duo. Really? And oh. all they did was brought in a couple of little monitors. Yeah. And, you know, plugged in. And rocked. Them, and, and rocked. So yeah. that's kind of what I was expecting tonight. So this is really ambitious. I'm so excited. The first great. song sounded amazing. What was the first song, you guys? It was called Dr. Don't. And, I mean, Josh wrote this song, so... He, uh, we all wrote it. I wrote the lyrics. Mm -hmm. so. We all kind of... Mm -hmm. He comes up... Yeah, he comes milk. up, yeah, we all kind of come up with our individual parts and kind of seal them together to yeah. get our sound well, out mostly of it. like the, the words yeah. come from Josh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of throw it all down on the table and mix Absolutely. it up, see what comes it's out. It's the first track on, the, on our debut album. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, there's an album coming out. We're going to talk about that a little later, but I want to get to another song. Yes. Where do we have to be? We're going to do some tap dancing here. We are, you, are. Are you playing guitar? Are you playing keyboard? I'm playing, you playing both? guitar for this one. All right, well, yes. let's do the uh, transition. All right. Very excited right to talk about the new album, but again, we got to get you another song here. What's this one called? This one's called Start Us Over. And. Old, new. This is brand, this is brand new. This is. Uh, well, old, it's old new because. Uh, well, I, well, it's all, this is new to everybody else who hasn't heard it yet. But this is a new, this is a new one we did write for the album. Yeah.
The Rebellion in the Shaw Studios tonight. Not exactly playing acoustic. <laughs> so we're getting a phone call so tomorrow. Opposite. So we're complete. getting a phone call tomorrow. Okay, we got to gear up for our first commercial break. But before that, I want to show you some footage. You guys may remember our anchor, the lovely Ann Perry, was milling around in here uh, before Absolutely, she yeah. before she went home. It was a rough it was a rough early afternoon for Ann Perry. Oh no! The, uh, why? Uh, well, actually, the uh, Shaw security cameras picked this up. Can we uh, could we roll to this? Okay. She, she's pretty excited for tonight. We finally got uh, Josh Palmer on tonight. It was kind of a, you know, made sense to, to uh, kind of finish the uh, little season with him. We got a couple episodes left. We really wanted to get him on before, but it's been it's been a nightmare to mic that episode. Hey guys, and Barry. aren't you super pumped for tonight? Uh, absolutely. Strip down, yeah. you, me, Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer, yeah. Yeah, you know, addicted to love. <laughs> no, no. And no, no, yes, but no. Uh, no. Josh Palmer, Ann. Josh Palmer. Yeah, Robert Palmer like probably. Like from Saskatoon, Josh Palmer. Yeah, Robert Palmer and probably uh, not going to be on Strip Down. It just kind of, I, so I guess, <laughs> not, not so much. He's he would, not, he would return me. my calls. No, we'll go Josh Palmer. <laughs> Canadian Idol, Josh Palmer. Oh, yeah, jo Josh Palmer. Okay, so no Robert Palmer at no, all. No, you, you, you look fantastic, though. Well, thanks, Curtis, but uh, I, I seriously went to like $7 stores to find this guitar. And yeah. It was no small feats. Uh, so, I, I don't know. Study, man. No, next no, time you know. No Robert Palmer. Sorry. No Robert Palmer. No Robert Palmer tonight. That is <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Anne Perry. Oh, bad. Oh, wow. Maybe that's why she stormed out of here so fast. I, I, we didn't know what was going on. We were just like, oh, hey, bye, Anne. If she you was know? giving you the evil eye, that would have been why. Probably. The thing I love about working at Shaw, you wouldn't believe it, but our security monitors have audio and color. It's, it's the craziest It's great, thing. you know? It's shared, wow. spare no expense at Shaw. Uh, we have to take a commercial break really quick. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about the new album. We're going to talk about the second song you just played. What are we going to hear tonight? All new? We're going to hear all oh, the debut, like the first half of the album. Yeah. We're even going to have some art. We're going to show. It's, it's, it's a huge night on Strip pleasure. Down. And we got more Strip Down coming up right after this. Oh, this really cool thing we do with the floor. You, me, Robert Palmer. Voted best clothing store for 2006-2007, Ultimo Yurimoda features high-speed fashion such as Bell Staff and Jay Lindenberg. Ultimo doesn't follow the trends, they introduce them. Providing a wide range of instruments under one roof, Mother's Music has been operating out of Saskatoon for 17 years. With music lessons, instrument rentals, and in-store financing, Mother's Music will fill your local music needs. Introducing Wing Street in seven flavors. From honey barbecue to spicy barbecue to heat seeker. Delivered to your door by Pizza Hut. Wing Street, you've been warned. For 10 years, SEGA has been strengthening the lives of Saskatchewan and First Nations people through employment, economic growth, and community relations. With five casinos in the province, SEGA offers a Saskatchewan First Nations gaming experience. Tune in to Remote Control Cinema every Wednesday and Friday as host Simon Hyatt reviews the newest movies to hit Shaw on demand. Plus, classics you may have missed the first time. Remote Control Cinema, only on Shaw. Rocco Radio in Saskatoon. C95, Rock 102, and News Talk 650 are proud supporters of Saskatoon's local music scene, including Shaw's Stripped Down. Affinity Credit Union is a proud sponsor of community programming. Affinity Credit Union. Our difference is personal. Escape Sports. Longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, extra cycling, sidewalk surfers, Heelys, low-key jackets. Escape Sports. 339 Avenue A South. Escapesports.ca. You are watching Strip Down. Here it is. The Rebellion! Yeah. 
nervous Click in the house Not everyone's out Confused by the sounds The smoke in my mouth Down the stairs Odds of racing Flames in the window I love it. I love the high energy. I love how you guys play like there's a giant studio <laughs> audience. <There's not. laughs> there is. There is. There's, there's, there is. We've got three people. That's there's, giant. There's walls. That's a crowd. There's walls three. on the other side. And they're very <laughs> intensive. That's all we ask yeah. for. What did we just hear, guys? <sighs> that song's called One Night Hero. It's actually yeah. uh, based, based, based on, on uh, yeah. oh, God, it's based it's on a hot. true life story uh, of me. And, my f and a couple friends of mine, we saved a family from a burning building, from a burning house in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Really? Completely cool. random. And it was an incredible, incredible experience that happened so fast where this, there was just a house and a garage and we drove by it in the middle of the night and we're like, are those Christmas lights? Or is that fire? Because there's a tarp on it. Okay. By the time we turned around, <laughs> The whole garage was engulfed in flames and we're knocking on the on the door just trying to get them out. So I wanted to I wanted to write a, a song about it. And, and so this really every section of it is just me rushing into the house with, with my with my friends, going downstairs, finding this this girl who's sleeping in, in and she, I had to physically wake her up and be like, and the poor girl probably was so scared out of her mind. She's like, who's this guy like shaking me right now? Uh -huh. Get out of here. And, and you know, her house is on fire. So it's like, so yeah. That's, 
Pretty much every trip to PA is a memorable one. <laughs> Man, is it ever, hey? Yeah. PA's good times. I do. Every I mean, time. Is. <laughs> That's... <laughs> that, that, uh... That story has no segue, so we're gonna go back and talk about, <laughs> no. talk about the brand new album. Yes. yes. Gotta be excited. What, what, a year and a half in the making now, pretty much? Jesus, yeah. Um, ever and then some. <laughs> pretty and then much, some? Since, yeah. since we started playing as, as a unit here. Like, yeah. we've been working on this thing, and, and uh, I was just so, so incredibly happy with it. We worked with uh, David J. Taylor, who's uh, producer of the year at the Western Canadian Music Awards last year, so it was, it was a great experience yeah, working with him. Yeah, it was really good to work with. I mean, yeah. we, it was hard to be apart when it was all over. I can imagine. One of those kind of guys. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. How do the three backgrounds, the diverse backgrounds, match when you're creating music? Like, you guys are all over the map. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. Yeah, it's just pretty much like each, we yeah. each bring our own, own thing to yeah. the table, I guess. And I don't know. I hope, you know, it's, it's, well, it's a different sound that, it is. A oh, no, I'm sound. having fun. Pretty. That sounds fantastic. Well, it's just the music that we make together is just yeah. it just out of pure enjoyment. You know, the, as you see him, we're jumping around, you know, having a good time on stage, and it was the first time in my life that I had had guys with me that were like getting me to do that. It was just like there was that kind of chemistry, and when we worked together, we uh, David was David was the one who put the, put this out. He was mm -hmm. like, you guys have an incredible amount of respect for each other. As we're flying ideas by the other, we'll try them. We'll go. Does it work? Does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, what's the next idea? No hard feelings. And there's just, you know, as a band, that's that's what I've been wanting De for since I was a little kid. Democracy yeah. at its best. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have some art. I'm gonna give these guys a few yes. seconds to get it uh, to get it up there. But name of the new album? Name of the new album, guys. Time. 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 Explain time. Well, it's a title track on our album. Uh, it was one of the last songs written for the album. Uh, what, what did we do? Uh, it was, it was an, it was, we were just jamming one day. I just happened to, to come up with this riff and, and it was just it, it, sort of about a defeated sort of, uh, a defeated sort of love song where it, you're just, you know, there's no time for us. There's no time for us. How are we going to do this? You know? And, uh, and it was just sort of fitting as a, as, a, as a flagship. It just encapsulated all our styles. And so we just chose it. And the artwork, which we're extremely proud of. Yeah, I think we should do a drum roll. I think it's coming. <laughs> hey! That's fantastic. It's, you uh, like burning things. I, <laughs> What's up with that? How many priceless books we may have burned that day? Oh. We just like collected a bunch. We <sighs> saved a bunch, but we didn't have time to go through all of them. So it's loaded it up. It was, it was fun, though. I, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, the team, Jade and Jay, props, props to them, yeah. uh, they came up with the concept of it. And we had uh, been through two other conceptual artists and it just wasn't working. So we were, we were just like, okay, you know, is this going to work? We need something that describes what we're doing. And so they're like a burning bookcase on the cover and on the back, the remnants of the bookcase, you know, sort of the eagle rising out of the fire the, sort of thing. The phoenix? And if you pop, pop that up again, if, if you... If we could, if if we could pop you, that up can again? Pop it up. Another drum roll? <laughs> hey! So if you look really closely, that is the actual flame. We didn't Photoshop that, and it is really? a heart. Or a bat? Or a bat. bat. Yeah. Sorry, like did, that. I, did, yeah. I, did I ruin your story? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a heart. Uh, a bat. No, that's way cooler. It's that's a bat. way cooler. It's a bat. Yeah, it's Batman. Um, oh, our studio's nicknamed the Bat Cave, so that makes sense. There you go. But yeah, it was a, it, he described it as a heart on fire, and I was like, that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> but now it's a bat on fire. <laughs> thanks, thanks for going there with me. Um, I can only imagine how much post-production you're doing. I mean, look at this. You're not someone who probably just records and says, okay, it's good, let's move on. Yeah. Was this shaping uh, up Sylvia, to be like... Sylvia uh, co-engineered it and, and yeah. with, with, with me in our studio, so it's like, how many tracks were... Was, was this shaping up to be a, like a, uh, a Chinese democracy where it was never going to be good enough? Oh. I, can, I can only, I can <laughs> no. only imagine you guys that working together. That was the exact it, opposite it was, of yeah, right. yeah, exact opposite from yeah. that. It was just trying to capture live performances and then just enhancing them. With studio yeah, stuff, like exactly. you know, more parts like keyboard parts. And Over time, I definitely add more stuff yeah. like here and there, or yeah. take something out. But, yeah. but it wasn't. It wasn't like we've recorded this album four times and we were, mm -hmm. you know, oh, the fifth time will be better when we record. No, it was just like 
this is great. We had a good time recording it. it the songs are there. And uh, we just really paid attention to how we wanted it to yeah. sound. And yeah. Finishing the album was pretty tight, too. It was, oh, like was it ever tight? Pretty man? much as soon as we finished recording, we hopped in the van. And where did we go? Uh, Banff. No, Jasper. Yeah. It was yeah. Jasper. It was I get like, those two mixed up. but yes. uh, Yeah, it was like literally, OK, if we're done mixes, all right, send them off to the mastering guy. Uh, let's go in the van. Sure. Like It was that quick and that the adventure schedule. Band. And when's it coming out? It's going to come out this fall. Nice. Yeah. Wow, really this, is a, this is an early tease. Thank you for this that. This is a very yeah, early this tease. This is crazy. Yeah. People, yeah. set your PBRs and VCRs and <laughs> MTVs. Get it down. <laughs> well, we, we were like, well, we want to release it, but it's a college town in you know, Saskatchewan. It's summers. It's touch and go. And uh, you know, Christian's going to Africa to visit his family, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Silvio's going to Romania to, for the summer to visit his family. So it was like, yeah, we'll do it in the fall. Strip down his honor. Let's see your family, too. It's time to see family my family. family. Yeah. We have to take another quick commercial break, but uh, you guys want to play another song? Yes. I want to get as much song in tonight because, yeah. again, I promised the uh, good people of Shaw a uh, acoustic show, and this is not an acoustic show. <laughs> so I have a feeling this may be the last time we uh, bring in amps and play loud, so let's do it tonight. Yes. But what are we going to hear? Four songs. Hear? What are we going to hear, boys? Uh, time, since we're talking about it too much, right? Do time? Yeah. Why not? All right. As I do the tuning song here, Sylvia will entertain the crowd. <laughs> what? What's tuning? We're good. We're good. I was lying.
A quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk about Josh Palmer's involvement in the entire Saskatoon music industry. Don't go anywhere. That's coming up right after this quick break. Don't go anywhere. More stripped down after this. Shaw is your only source for continuous local community news, information, and weather. Join Ann Perry and the rest of the Shaw Information Update crew daily as they bring you the latest news and information about our community. With weather updated every 10 minutes and the Shaw Information Update every half hour, Shaw is your one stop for local news and information. The Shaw Information Update, only on Shaw. Voted Best Clothing Store for 2006-2007, Ultimo Yurimoda features high-speed fashion such as Bell Staff and Jay Lindenberg. Ultimo doesn't follow the trends, they introduce them. Providing a wide range of instruments under one roof, Mother's Music has been operating out of Saskatoon for 17 years. With music lessons, instrument rentals, and in-store financing, Mother's Music will fill your local music needs. Escape Sports. Longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, extra cycling, sidewalk surfers, heelys, low-key jackets. Escape Sports. 339 Avenue A South. Escapesports.ca. Rolco Radio in Saskatoon. C95, Rock 102, and News Talk 650 are proud supporters of Saskatoon's local music scene, including Shaw's Stripped Down. The Shaw Sports Update takes you into the game from Little League to the Big Leagues. Covering everything from curling, hockey, baseball, and football, we've got all the bases covered. Whether you're a fan of the Blades, Huskies, Hilltops, Yellow Jackets, or Accelerators, Simon Hyatt brings you the latest information on the teams, athletes, and volunteers in our community. The Shaw Sports Update with Simon Hyatt, only on Shaw. Watching Strip Down, we got Josh Palmer and the Rebellion in tonight, and guess what? They're going to do an acoustic song. They're going to humor me on Strip Down, an acoustic song. What a, what a concept. This is awesome. I, again, can't thank you guys enough for bringing this in. This is, this is rocking tonight. This is about as bizarro, about as far on the other end of what Strip Down usually is. It's been fun, though. What do you got? Acoustic song. Acoustic song. This is another defeated love song. Um, this was the absolute last song that... We wrote for the album. We were literally, we're done. Yeah. And then, uh, and we this sort came, of came up. Yeah. Well, let's came do up it. Steady, eh? Come into my room. Tell me what's wrong I'll show you my heart You can tell me what's on your soul We'll get through this love We'll get through it all I love you so much More than you'll ever know You make me feel like there's a chance for us in this life The tides will break and we'll feel the water light subside Ooh Love will make us right Love will make us right It's draining our love It's draining our soul I'm breathing so hard It's out of control The damage is done The fairy tale's been sold 
need you so much More than you'll ever know You make me feel like there's a chance for us in this life Sides will break and we'll feel the waterlines Us right. Love will make us If I'm allowed to do this enough, but I'm totally doing it. Do it, do, do it. it, sit down. I man. don't want to snub you guys, but I want to talk to Josh real quick <laughs> about uh, your contribution. What up, guys? Contribution to the Saskatoon music scene, okay. real quick. Josh, right. you yeah. saw right off the top the uh, montage, the homage, the portage, whatever it's called, of all the other uh, acts we've had in here. Yes, it was all beautiful. we've worked with you. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. What's it like working, molding, molding Why? these people? It's, it's just like. We're not molding anybody. We're just taking what they want to sound like and giving and it reality. Happen. Like that was just the biggest thing. Why me and Sylvia yeah. opened the studio? Yeah, like, it was mm -hmm. just incredibly uh, frustrating for many artists uh, who've been in studios across the country, where the attitude has just been like, oh, "We're gonna make you sound like we we want." We're mm -hmm. like, and we're the engineers, so mm -hmm. we're right. And it's just like, the artist is always right. And we wanted to have a studio that was that accommodating and it would just help make our, our friends' music. Really Does it distract it you from your usual band stuff, is that? Ah, uh, no. Really I, you just work long hours. I don't hours. think so. Oh. Just oh. long hours. Yeah. We still do our, our own yeah. stuff. And in fact, we get better at our own stuff because yes. we're constantly helping yes. other people reach their goals too. Yes, we usually play Three Degrees of Josh Palmer, but it doesn't <laughs> make sense this week. I don't know, is that... Is he's that, here! He's Yay. here! Does, does that officially kill the segment? I don't know. It might, it might no, come up no. with a new segment. No, we should play no. it differently. Christian says no. If anything, you should have a double bill. A double bill. Okay. <laughs> uh, starting next season, starting when we relaunch in September, we are having so many out-of-town acts now that we are gone Saskatchewan-wide, so That's awesome. it might be tougher. We might actually have to get the three degrees of Josh Palmer going. You know, yeah. we've got a young lady from Craig coming. I don't know. There's got to be a connection to We've somewhere. played Craig. Probably. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. we're going to take our last yeah. commercial break. When we come back, it's going to be the showcase song. I can't even imagine what it's going to be because it's been all fantastic so far. All fantastic. We wrap up with the Rebellion right after this. And I'm totally on the logo. I don't know how it's going to work. Uh... <laughs> Tune into Shaw for TCU Place Arts and Entertainment weekdays only on Shaw. From celebrities to local artists, musicians and performers, arts and entertainment reporter Curtis Anderson is your hookup for everything going on in the local entertainment scene. TCU Plays Arts and Entertainment with Curtis Anderson, only on Shaw. Voted Best Clothing Store for 2006-2007, Ultimo Yurimoda features high-speed fashion such as Bell Staff and Jay Lindenberg. Ultimo doesn't follow the trends, they introduce them. 
Providing a wide range of instruments under one roof, Mother's Music has been operating out of Saskatoon for 17 years. With music lessons, instrument rentals, and in-store financing, Mother's Music will fill your local music needs. Grab a rod and a reel and tune in to Shaw on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. for FishingSaskatchewan.ca's Fishing Saskatchewan Show. Join Steve, Smitty, and Terry as they take you on a wild ride through Saskatchewan's lake country. FishingSaskatchewan.ca's Fishing Saskatchewan Show. Tuesdays, only on Shaw. Rocco Radio in Saskatoon. C95, Rock 102, and News Talk 650 are proud supporters of Saskatoon's local music scene, including Shaw's Stripped Down. Affinity Credit Union is a proud sponsor of community programming. Affinity Credit Union. Our difference is personal. I don't know what to tell you. This episode completely got away from us. There was so much music. It was awesome. Uh, best way to get a hold of you guys, track your progress. I'm totally in everybody's way here. Uh, MySpace. On our website, uh, www.therebellion.ca. Keeping busy this cool. summer, playing lots of gigs. Oh, you bet. Yeah, and then doing some Western Canada touring and got working on all that's all on all yeah. the website. Oh, all yeah, all, everything you need to know, plus blogs and videos, videos of us burning stuff. Yeah, we didn't do it. Okay, Somewhere. and the album, yeah, gonna be launched in fall. The album launches fall. Yeah. All right, you guys, it has been so much fun. We're so out of time. I'm so sorry. That's it for another episode of Strip Down. Thanks for watching. Thanks to tonight's crew and thanks to our sponsors, Ultimo Uramoto, Mother's Music, and Rolco Radio. Wow. Josh Palmer and the Rebellion finally on Strip Down. Make sure you tune in next week. Stephen McGuire from Belfast, Ireland is touring through Saskatoon this summer and he's going to be here in the Shaw Studios. That's right, next week. That being said, for the last time tonight, the Rebellion! Take, risk that I take with you. Oh.